bit of my heart's desire of bringing you on here because a few weeks ago you were gracious enough to um, allow my family and I to come in for a little tour around City Hall and stuff like that. I had no idea a lot of the programs that were going on. Right. Um, and so I, I think this is a great segue to talk about some of those programs. Yeah. Um, I was on your Facebook page kind of checking things out and I know there, so it, I'm going to butcher this name, but is it uh, a trades program? You had 18 yeah. people in there? Well, you know, basically this kind of was bore out of when I was in high school, again, mm -hmm. there was another course that I was able to take that got me out of school, mm -hmm. was called Building Trades. Mm -hmm. So I literally went to school for a couple of hours, and then I left to go build a house on a construction site. And so the school basically employed a contractor, a retired contractor, and he oversaw all of us kids building a house. So. I learned how to frame, I learned how to do plumbing, I learned how to do electrical, I learned how to do roofing, and everything else, all the trim work, everything that's in a house, I got to do when I was a junior and senior in high school. And so I had mentioned this to um, Charles Walker, who is um, one of our um, staff in uh, City Hall, and um, so he, he put together a construction trades class. Mm. So basically, um, uh, Habitat for Humanity has, has got involved too. So um, what we're going to do is they're going to learn how to do blueprints. They're going to take uh, OSHA training, so safety, and they're going to take CPR, so they're going to be certified in CPR. And then, um, did I say blueprints? Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, and then they're going to build a shed. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's 18 people signed up for the class right now. So they're going to build three sheds. And high school people or anybody? No, these... This could be anybody. 18 and over. Okay. So um, I would say probably, you know, six or seven of them, I would say 18 to 20. Mm -hmm. And then there's some in their tw uh, 20s to 30s. Mm -hmm. And there was even a couple of older, you know, people. And, and really, that was my, my thought and my goal was, you know, veterans who were... This town is full of veterans. Yep. And veterans who are uh, getting out of the military want to, you know, maybe pick up a trade or, you know, learn something like that. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize most construction sites, you'll see two guys with a shovel and you'll see six guys watching. Standing watching, yeah. And that's your safety officer, that's your, you know. I thought they, they were just lazy. No. no there's the, no reason for Every it. Okay. single one of them are getting paid a, a nice Decent chunk amount. of money. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're in a, um, if it's a government project, uh, it's a prevailing wage job, which prevailing wage is like $45 an hour. Wow. So literally, you could be standing there with the stop sign directing traffic, making $45 an hour. You hear that, kids? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so and, and that's what I'm trying to encourage. And right now, the construction industry is really, really hurting for, yeah. for qualified labor. Yeah. And so... <clears throat> That's the goal of this this program is to get them some experience that maybe crack the door open so they could get into a um, a construction because most of these prevailing wage jobs are these big operations. You know, you'll see, um, you know, um, I can't even think of their names now. But there's there's a couple of really big ones to get all the bridge projects, all the road projects. Um, but they're always looking because it's it's a it's a hard and that goes back to it. It seems like um, college has been so drummed into uh, these kids that you know they're coming out with these college degrees, but so is everybody else. Yeah. So, but they don't have a skill. They don't have a trade. They don't have something that they can actually um, uh, trade on. Yep. You know. So. Um, that's that's really because I'm that guy, I'm that guy who didn't go to college. Actually, I did for mm -hmm. one semester and realized I was in the wrong spot. Right with you, buddy. Yeah. Yep. So um, so I was always constantly doing. I like working with my hands. I like creating things. I like building things. So that was always a natural for me. So that's why I cut hair. You know, I do. I have rental properties. I do all my own remodels and. Um, so, and I can literally do everything, so. Well, I'm so glad that you uh, you spoke to that, and, and 